the infinite. If you're very confused about what the hell is Marky's OS, we'll get into that in like 15 seconds, but to be fair, even I am confused. Two trucks having sex. Let's start at the beginning. In 1958, one of the first video games, Tennis for Two, in August of 2023 of the Common Era After Christ, I started work on Marky's OS, which was initially known as Lelcube OS, a game of course being largely based on a short-lived obsession with No Space Outlaw, I sometimes get obsessed with random shit, and had the bonus of being a sequel to OS concepts I used to do a while back. I didn't really know what the actual gameplay would be, so the two best ideas were, option A, being a hacker or some shit fuckery like that, or, option 2, planning a fun little revolution. You will never guess which one I went with. I've had the idea since the late parts of the development of Catastrophe, also known as Corporate Simulator. So after I finished that crap, I tried adding modding, but it was kinda tricky, so I did the logical thing, making a pop bus sim, the game arguably better than being stabbed to death. Then I actually started making Marky's OS. So, here's a quick timeline of early Marky's OS. In 0.1 I added a window, in 0.2 I made the window fancy. In 0.3 I added a shitty desktop, in 0.4 I added saves as well as starting the war against resolutions, in 0.5 I pinky promised I had finished the desktop, in 0.6 I added settings, in 0.7 I added an over-engineered over-complicated file system, in 0.8 I added several pointless features, in 0.9 I added a questionably designed websites and messaging app, and in 0.10 I added even more pointless features. Quite a straightforward development process. However, I then decided to update to God 04, since supposedly the new God 04.2 version fixed C-sharp on Android on God 04, it's complicated. That's when shit got spicy. I'm gonna update to God version 420 and dot net eight. Only that, Going quite a few systems have been completely remade, such as the file system system. I also oh then God noticed that I was always to say that I decided to replace it with a version puzzle and I found on while trying to fix that. I then made names and gave them several internal files, and it got my eye was trying to fix Windows animations by went through five stages of But now that the game is starting up, this isn't real. I had an alien type idea of what if I tried to make this single one gonna rewrite the entire game to be a bit more than I had a fantastic idea. I'm gonna merge so I made the ACES of and use the top of the mobile version. I should create my design in every app and it will spend your mobile. But this thing's only way downhill to make every single thing. I have this real life to my own engine for some time. The Windows version and I'm really trying to be a mono game with the ACES of the mobile version. 0.11 was supposed to be a simple update to update to God 04. It was in fact not quick. Here's a list of features and updates planned for 0.11, all of them. In the end I ended up having to abandon all of the code and pointless features, not only because it was more broken than insert joke about something broken, but also because God 04.2 didn't fix shit, it's complicated, and confusing, and complicated. As an intelligent being intelligent enough to make two versions that are just pointless features. I thought it would be fun, and a good idea, to make a game engine. It was, in fact, not fun, and not a good idea, and in the end I just ended up using God 03.6 with C Sharp. 0.10 and earlier used God 03.5 with C Sharp. Oh brother, this guy stinks! I started rewriting the game, and now development went relatively simple and easy and straightforward. If you consider my laptop charger exploding followed by a catastrophic record-breaking flooding drastically affecting the supply chain of laptop chargers going towards niche internet micro-celebrities to be simple and easy and straightforward. Okay, now it's gonna be simple and easy and straightforward, right? Oh. That's unfortunate. So in the last devlog, I added some pretty important features, and said that after that video I would finally start adding actual gameplay, so then, I didn't. Oh brother, this guy st 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 In two months I managed to add a whopping 9-ish websites, that can be explored in like 5 minutes. Not only I lost motivation, but also got sick, twice. I did add some features in those two months though, I added a confusing app for development purposes, a tutorial, installable apps, incomprehensible searching, reduced motion mode, a war against the connect app, and some shit fuckery. Comment down below, are you interested in a cheap have no space outlaw ripoff? Is anything worth it? Do you believe in free will? Is this just a fantasy created by your brain after a 7 year comb? Who knows? Also I uploaded the beta version to Google Drive, it's public, you can test it now, you should test it immediately or suffer dire consequences. Hey Mr. Plant, are you interested in a cheap rip-off of the hit 2019 video game Have No Space Outlaw?